the Wismec Luxotic NC with the guillotine V2 RDA. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Ben Vick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Wismec Luxotic NC and the Guillotine V2 RDA from Wismec. What is it? Well, this mod, this is the Luxotic NC. Luxotic, obviously just like their Squonker was, NC standing for Noisy Cricket. This is a dual 2700 mod. Um, it has three modes available on it. It has unregulated parallel mode which is what I have it in now it also has uh, PWM mode uh, series uh, adjustable voltage mode if you like it also has an unre secret unregulated series mode which I'll show you down low um, so it has the three modes and it has this sort of plasticky resin feel to it and uh, yeah dual 2700 mod comes with the uh, Wismec Guillotine V2 RDA. The first one was a very popular bottom feeding RDA at the time. This one is the latest version as a slightly different deck. It also has a very clever trick of being able to reverse the barrel so you can use this as an undercoil RDA or as a side airflow RDA. I'll show you that down low. Comes with a really nice drip tip that matches the mod as well, but I've lost that drip tip. I don't know where it's gone. Um, so there we go. Let's go down low so you can have a really nice look at this. Uh, I'll show you the RDA in good detail. Then we'll come back up top for pros and cons of which there are many. Let's go. Okay, guys, here we are with the Luxotic NC from Wismec. Uh, I'm gonna skip over the packaging. It comes in a big plastic box, blah. Um, so this is it, the NC obviously standing for Noisy Cricket as this is a series mod just like the Noisy Cricket was. It's not just a series mod of course but I'll give you a look around first then I'll show you all that. So you've got your uh, plasticky feeling uh, resin bits here, you've got your metal panel here down the middle, you've got your fire button and your potentiometer there. All of them are slightly different obviously because of uh, resin. But uh, there we go. On top, you've got your spring-loaded 510, and you've also got this switch. Uh, the switch takes you from parallel mode to uh, series mode. I'll show you that in a sec. There's also uh, a battery door under here, and uh, your batteries are in here. 2700s, a couple of those, Bosch, like that. And the door goes on like that. A little bit of a push as you're pushing it along, down and along. And uh, they are back on. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five is on and off on this mod. And there's a little light up here that helps you know what's going on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five turns it on. So right now, with the switch to the left as we're looking, uh, we are in parallel mode. So completely unregulated parallel mode. Uh, if we try and fire it, it won't be uh, impressed because no atomizer on top. If we switch it across. We are now in series mode and we can use the potentiometer to take it from 2.5 volts to 5.3 volts. And we do that by turning this around. You see I've turned it around, that might be about 4 volts and it turns around all the way to 5.3 volts. Um, so that is it in uh, in series in series uh, PWM mode. Okay, so it also has a secret feature. If you turn it off, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hold the fire button down for five seconds it goes into series mode and then it is an unregulated series mode now there's no mention of this mode in the manual maybe they want to keep it secret just for the hobbyists or whatever but uh, you can use it like this in uh, unregulated series mode okay so here is the RDA you get your beauty ring that does come in handy as there is a little bit of a raised 510 aspect to the mod this is the deck you've got your air intake there coming out of here uh, you've got your dual post situation it's two big slots governed by two screws in each slot and uh, loads of room as you can see for your cotton and it does come with a squonk pin as well uh, so that is that. There's some interesting features with the uh, with the RDA as well. So natively, it is a, a undercoil airflow. 
So if you put that on there, that is uh, that lines up with there. You can adjust the airflow, and it is an undercoil airflow RDA. However, the barrel is switchable, so you can actually put it this way round so that the barrel is uh, on top and the airflow lines up bang on the coils and it covers up those bottom air holes. And when you do that, it has these fins. Now this has got an Alton bit here that helps dissipate the heat from your RDA, but also, as you can see, if I put it in, adjustable airflow as well, like that. Um, so you can completely vape this in two different ways. Um, it comes with a really sexy drip tip, which I have lost. You will see on the pictures, the thumbnails, etc., what that looks like. Uh, but yeah, I've lost that. <laughs> but it was a really nice drip tip while I had it. Um, so there we go. So that is that. So we need to show you this uh, RDA with a build in. Okay, guys, here is what it looks like with a build in. As you can see, no issue getting these lovely beefy coils in. No issue at all with that. Uh, very nice. Loads of room for cotton. And uh, yeah, your coils just go right above those air ducts. No issue at all there. Putting it back together. Beauty ring on the bottom. RDA on top. And screw it back on the mod. There we go. It's back together. The Luxotic NC from Wismec with the Guillotine V2 RDA. Let's go back up top for pros and cons, of which there are many. Okay, guys, that was the Luxotic NC down low. Loads of pros and cons with this mod, uh, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Uh, first of all, when I first got mine, uh, the, the casing was really sort of loose, kind of like a lot of play on it, a lot of bit really squishy and squeezy. Um, it feels a lot better once you get the batteries in, but I also had to tighten up these little screws on the top as well to, to settle it in and make it tighter. I don't know why it came like that, uh, but it was very off-putting and it felt very, very flimsy until I tightened those screws. Also, the actual mod, I mean, it's quite cool looking with this sort of resin and metal look going on. It's much better looking in a picture than it is in real life. And I think the reason for that is, and I'm not saying it is plastic, this. Uh, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but it, oh God, it feels really plasticky. It feels really plasticky and cheap in the hand. Um, I'm really sorry, Wismate. I'm just not feeling this mod. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but it just feels cheap in the hand, really plasticky. Even though I've tightened it, there's still a bit of play on the case. Um, I don't know if they've if they've made any statements on that uh, on their Facebook or Instagram or anything. But uh, yeah, very strange, very strange feel to it in the hand, um, and it just feels a bit cheap to me. It is cheap. It is very very affordable, which is great. But it does it does feel it. It does feel it. It really does. Um, Another thing I don't like about this mod is the pulse width modulation mode. Um, I guess I've been spoiled in my vaping time. Um, Modmaker.co.uk, they have the um, really nice pulse width modulation boards. Uh, you don't hear the signal, you don't hear the current. It, 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 they sound great and they perform great. This one, when you're in PWM mode, it, there's a, I don't know if you can hear this on the microphone or not. But there's a constant buzzing and whirring, and it just feels really, really shoddy. Um, I don't really don't like the way this performs or sounds or feels in PWM mode. Um, I don't know what that's about. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the way this performs in uh, PWM mode. And I am a big fan of PWM mode in general. Uh, variable vo voltage is uh, something I really love. I love my hex ohms and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but I don't like it on this mod. Uh, I don't like that. I mean, you do get that buzzing sometimes with PWM, but it's really loud. It's very off-putting. It's very frustrating. So I don't like that mode at all. Um, if you turn it off and uh, you hold the fire button for five seconds, uh, it it can flip into series mode, so you can actually get this to be an unregulated series mod as well. I showed you that down low. Um, 
against, and that's absolutely fine, and that's good. I, I, I like it as a dual parallel mode. I'm a big fan of dual parallels, uh, and it does vape very, very, very nicely in dual parallel mode for me. The reason it has no screen, the reason it has no variable wattage and TC and all that stuff is because that is the aim of this. It's super simplistic and dual parallel mode for me, nice low build on the RDA and that is that is nice. That is a nice vape for me and that's how I like it and that's how I've been using it. Um, so that's the mod. Yeah, there's a few things there that I'm not super impressed with but I will say in dual parallel mode it's a very, very solid, very nice vape, just like I like it. Um, don't forget, you've got all those built-in safety features as well. You've got low ohm short protection. You've got low battery warning, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so it's got all that good safety stuff, five clicks on, five clicks off, and all that. Uh, so it does have all that, which is good. The RDA, the Guillotine V2, is solid. Very, very nice. RDA. Um, really, really good. I really like that you can flip the barrel. It completely changes the vape. It totally depends on your preference as to which way you will like it. Super, super flavoursome with the barrel downward in its normal position and uh, super, super cloudy when you flip that barrel around and have the airflow banging straight at those coils in that sort of goon style if you like. No issues with the deck. You can get massive builds in here, no problems. Nice big deep juice well, really well put together this RDA and it squonks an absolute treat. I've been squonking it on uh, on my big old squonker over there and it squonks brilliantly, this thing. Uh, so a brilliant RDA for squonking and for dripping. Um, it's a cloudy beast, you know, it's not one of these little squonky RDAs, it's for clouds, um, but uh, it's, a, it's a really solid RDA, really well put together, and I really like the switchy barrel thing, so I'm a big fan of the RDA. Comes with a really lovely drip tip that I've lost as well. Um, so, the Guillotine V2 RDA, big thumbs up for me, I think it's great. I'm not loving this mod, I'm not loving the exotic NC, um, I'm afraid. I do yeah, Luxotic NC, I should say. Um, so I'm just not. I'm just not. There's just too much that's not quite to my taste on it. Uh, so there you go. Split thing. I'm sure the Guillotine V2 will be available separately. Do check that out if you're a cloudy squonker or you like your dripping atomizers. Uh, very, very nice indeed. I've been Baby Vic. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you again soon.